video we are going to do a type of questions a standard type of questions where people join or leave a group so let's start with an example let's say there's a group of people the average age of them is 20 years and they are nine of them now a new person joins the group this one person is 40 years old and we want to find the effect of this on the bigger group now what is the average so let me call it average 2 so there were originally 9 people now one more person would have joined so there are going to be 10 people in this group so what is the average of these 10 people this guy is 40 so can I add 40 years to the 20 years and could I say the average is 60 years this would be wrong obviously there is not one individual of 20 and another individual of 40 this 20 refers to a group of 9 people all of them could be 40 that could be one meaning of average let's say all is 20 but then adding the 40 to a individual 20 makes no sense so this is blatantly wrong where this 40 is going to be added is going to be in the sum so the sum of these people the sum which we can find as nothing but the average into the number of people 180 this 40 can be added to the sum and I could say that the new sum is going to be 220 and could I say that the n increases now to 10 because there was 9 and now is 10 we know the sum we know the n so we can find the average now as uh, 220 divided by 10 people that is 22 so the average age is going to be 22 of the new group if you have understood this we can generalize this into let's say a1 is the original average into n1 the number of people in the group so a1 n1 becomes your sum now I am adding something to this sum and I am getting a new sum which itself can be given as A2 into N2. This is what we will be using in all our questions of this time. And just if you have not noticed, the N1 and N2 will be related. If let's say if it is N and one person joins, one person joins then i will be having n plus one if there were two people who are joining then i would be having the number of people as n plus two and so on hope you are clear right so we'll tinker around with the data given and the question asked a little bit but we'll keep the scenario same for this video okay the question says because a person joins a group of uh, 8 people, the average drops from 75 to 72 kgs, the average weight. What is the weight of the person joining the group? Now this is a straightforward question. So we have seen uh, whatever needs to be added, needs to be added to the sum of observations of the group and this will give us the new sum. We have also, we have, we have seen that this cannot be added to the average. To come to the average, we will need to write the sum as A1 into N1 plus X, which will be A2 into N2. In our question, it is straight given that uh, the group is of 8 people. Because someone is joining a group of 8 people, having an average age of 75, the average drops to 72. Now, since there were 8 people and one more has joined. 
So obviously the new number of people will be 9. So it's a simple straight question 75 into 8 which will be 600 plus x. 9 to the 18, 163 and 164 and the answer will be the person joining will be 48 kgs. Hope you get this. This is a very simple one. Had the situation been that the person leaves the group. So I am changing the question. Let's say the person leaves the group. All that would change is this would be a minus sign. There is something taken away from the sum. Right? So, I would have all of this minus and at the same time, the one person, one leaves. So, since one person has left, the number of people now will be only 7 and not 8. Right? So, how will it change to the answer? 7 to the 14 and 1, that sends in the 49, 50. Right? So, 600... Sorry, this was that been a minus x, right? So, the x is going to be the difference between 600 and this. So, the person leaving will have to be 96 kgs away. I don't think so. That should add too much of difficulty. So, let's see how otherwise the question can be twisted. The next question reads as, on scoring 20 runs in the 25th over, the average runs per over increases by 0.64. What is the average runs per over now? Uh, so, we have something the 25th over being added to the score of the previous 24 uh, overs. So, we still have something being added and we know average 1 into number of observations plus whatever is added is average 2 into number of o observations. It is pretty obvious here that the 25th over is bold, 25th over. So, what would we initially have? We would have 24 overs and now after this is bold, we would have a total of 25 overs. That is comfortable. But in this question, if you would have noticed a relation between average is also given. It says the average increases by 0.64. So, I do not have the average, but I do not need to use two variables. If A was the earlier average, because it has increased by 0.64, it will become A plus 0.64. Average into number of overs and what is it? Because I am adding 20. 20 is being scored, the new additional. So, we have a simple uh, equation again and on solving it, this is 24a plus 20. Opening out the brackets, 25a plus 0.64 into 25. 25 can be thought as 100 divided by 4. 100 into 0 0.64 64 by 4, that is 60. So, 24A, 25A, uh, A will be left minus that is 4. So, the current average, the question is asking you the current average. The current average, this is post 25th over. Post 25th over is going to be nothing but 4.64. Hope you got this. One more of the same type. Another question where the data given can be a little different from what we saw earlier is the average age of a group of people is 40 years. If the youngest who is 12 years old and the eldest who is 78 years old are excluded, the average of the rest drops by 2 years. Whatever is unknown, we need to find it. It is not mentioned in the question, right? There is just one logical possible deduction. So, let us find it. So, our data is we knew there is a group of people. So, we will have A1 into N1. We know some people are excluded. So, some is going to be excluded. There are two people who are excluded. One is a 12-year-old child. Another is a 78-year-old, let us say, grandfather. And we would have the new average and the new number of people. What is known to us is that average is 
original average was 40 years and it is given that this average drops by 2 years, decreases by 2 years. So, while A2 is not given directly, we can obviously find it if 40 and it drops, it's 32. So, what's the only unknown left? The number of people actually. So, we have the equation as 40 into N minus the two of them add up to 90. 90 is subtracted from the sum because they excluded and the new average is going to be 38 into number of people. Now, remember, there are two people excluded. So, if two people are excluded, two are excluded, the number of people will be nothing but N minus 2. So, again we have a linear equation, the only unknown is n and we can solve it and get an answer. So, there is a 38 n out of a year, there is a 40, okay, I will write everything out of a year, minus 90 is 38 n, minus 76, that is 2 n, 90 will be positive, that is a 14, so n is 7. If the question was how many people were there in the group originally, that is going to be 7. Uh, excluding the elder and the younger, there are going to be 5 people, right. So, one last question in this video which is going to be a little more trickier than what we have seen. The question says, if a person weighing 70 kgs joins a group, the average age of the group increases by 1. If the person had been 55 kgs, the average of the group would have decreased by 2. Find the number of people in the group now. So, it seems similar, just there are two sets of data. So, uh, we, do we know the average initially? Not really, so I will just keep it as A. Uh, and uh, the number of people, neither is the number of people. No, we just know that if the person weighing 70 kgs joins the group, what happens to the average? The average increases by 1. So, if this was A, it is going to be A plus 1 by now. And the number of people obviously is going to be N plus 1 because the person is joined. And uh, similar set of data, it says that had the person been 55, so there is not going to be any difference out of a year, it is going to be A into N, then the average would have decreased by 2. So, these are the two equations. So, there are two unknown unlike the previous questions, but then there are two equations as well. So, I should be able to find both of them individually. Uh, we could, uh, you should be able to realize as an an, an year, there's an n plus 1, n plus 1 year or if you open out that, uh, the, there would be an an, an. So, the tempting thing would be to subtract the two equations. So, if I subtract the two equations, a and A in Kansas 70 minus 55 that is going to be 15 is I could take the n plus 1 common and what will be left out is going to be A plus 1 minus of this that is a minus A plus 2 right. Uh, if you notice again the A cancels out so the bracket is just 3. So, n plus 1 is going to be 15 by 3 which is 5. So, n is 4. So, the number of people in the group originally is 4. We could take the 4, plug it in any of the equations and we could find the average value as well. Uh, if you could not realize that you need to subtract, maybe you could have opened out the bracket a n plus a plus 1 into n that is an n plus 1. On opening this will be a n plus a minus 2n minus 2. Now, it is obvious that there is an a n, a n which cancels out and a, a which cancels out. n minus of minus 2n is going to become 3n and this is going to be as well as 3. Right? So, we will be getting the similar sort of relation again out of that. 3 into n plus 1. Uh, hope this is okay. We can do this question orally as well. Let us have a look how. I have tried to capture the data given visually over here. So, we had a group of people. We do not know the average. So, let us say A is the average. We did not know the number of people. Let us say N was the number of people. Now, if a person weighing 70 kg joins the group. So, that is the first data. The group has changed or 70 kg has joined. The average increases by 1. 
So we had an equation with this relation. Had that new person been only 55, so I'm talking of a different scenario, had it been 55, then the average would have decreased by 2. Here we had the second equation, that is A into N plus 55 and so on. Why don't we compare just these two? And what is so, what can I say about these two groups? What can I deduce immediately? The original group is the same. Here we have a 70 kg person, here we have a 55 kg person. So I don't think so. It takes a lot of time for us to understand that the difference in sum, in the sum of weights is going to be 15 with the first group being heavier because it's 70 kgs, right? Next thing that we have seen in a video earlier also is that the number of people in both the cases is same. Here also there is n plus 1, here also there is n plus 2. So, if the difference, the sum difference in sum can always be written as the difference in the averages or uh, this part average into n plus 1 is the sum. Here we have average into again n plus 1 and the difference of this is 50. The n plus 1 can be taken common obviously and uh, a plus 1 minus of this is going to be 3 into now. The beauty of the method is that we do not even need to do this. Since, since the number of people is same, I could simply say the difference in averages into the number of people is going to be 15. Right? And the difference in average, here there is a benchmark A, one average is A plus 1, the other average is A minus 2, so the difference in the averages obviously has to be 3. So this is in a nutshell a direct conclusion that we can get. The average shifts by 3 with the number of people remaining same and that is because the weight, the sum has changed by 15 and we could have got an answer directly. Hope you get this. Right? Thank you. Actually, before we wind up the video, all these questions could also be done orally through a method called deviation from the mean. We will look at it in one of the later videos. However, the questions are so simple that we really do not need a, a, a let's say a great shortcut, right? Anyway, the shortcut is a little taxing on the mind. So, and the questions even by equation way do not really take a lot of time. So, the amount of time you would have spent in thinking, then that much time you could have easily done the pencil work and got. So, we do not really think that's very crucial. But for those interested, watch out for a later video. Thank you.